on Social 3. This week we're talking about Vine on the web, we're talking about the new Flippergram, and we're also talking about Facebook's 20% rule. Hey everybody, this is Andrew McCauley, the social media bloke, coming to you with Social 3 for this week. First up, we have Vine. If you've never used Vine, it's Twitter's little video app, the app that lets you only make six second videos. Now, Vine has just released its ability to now be used on the web. Before that, it was only used on a mobile device, but now you can start using it on your uh, desktop application. You can go and search people, you can follow people, and you can start watching the Vine videos from your website desktop. So that's a pretty cool new feature that Vine have released just this week. The other thing that's big on video is called Flippergram. Flippergram has just been released. It's one of the fastest growing apps on the App Store. And what Flippergram does is it actually grabs all of your photos from either Instagram, Facebook, or your, your mobile phone, and it uploads it into a video. So what you can do is you can select different photos from, your, from those applications, and you can put it into a video format. Now you can also go and select music from your iTunes store or your music that you've got on your computer. And what it does is it actually puts the videos in time with the music. Uh, you may want to set your video to be a 30 second video, you may want it to be longer. And Flippergram will grab all that information, stick it in a video, and let you showcase some of those photos that you may not have looked at for a long time. This day and age we're all taking so many photos that we forget what we used to take. So Flippergram could be a great way to go and use it. Now, I think my prediction for 2014 is that there's going to be a lot of Flippergram videos coming through on Facebook and all the other social sites. People are going to want to share their photos with their cool music that they've uploaded. So keep an eye out for Flippergram this year. I've done a video. Um, there's a link down below this video, so check out my little Flippergram video. Final thing, 20% rule on Facebook. Now, if you don't know what that is, if you're using uh, paid ads for Facebook, there's a 20% rule, which means that 20% of the image that you use in your photo for your, for your news feed ad is not allowed to be text. You can only have 20% text, no more. Now, Facebook have come out and said, this is not a new rule, we're still sticking to the guidelines, but what we are doing is we've actually refined how we determine 20%. We've got new tools to do it, and we're being a lot smarter about it now. So if you've ever had an ad that's been um, disallowed, maybe you can go back and try it. Their new rules are actually a lot more calculating. They're a lot more forgiving, apparently. We'll see. We'll see. So 20% rule is still in force. It's just that they've used a new way to do it. There are some links below this video to go and use their tools. They have a special grid that you can put over the top of your image to see if there's text. One thing that they do say still is that if your text is on an image of a product inside the photo, that's fine. Uh, or if the image or the text is in a photo in a natural surrounding, such as uh, the product being used in, in, a, in a picture, then that's okay too. It's the text that you overlay on the top of that ad. All right, so that's Social 3 this week. Check out your Flippergram videos. Send them to me. Give me a link. I'd love to see them. This is Andrew McCauley, the social media bloke for Social 3.